Many Americans start their day with a cup of coffee. In fact, the FDA says four out of five adults consume caffeine every day, but it is important to know how much is too much. In this week's Health News to Use, we're taking a closer look at how much caffeine you can drink before it impacts your sleep. For many, it's a way to jumpstart the day, but caffeine has its downsides. There's definitely some health benefits, but there's also some drawbacks if people take in too much. Consuming too much caffeine can make you jittery and anxious, increase heart rate, cause an upset stomach, nausea, or headache. It can also lead to insomnia. Probably everybody knows somebody who can drink coffee and then go to bed an hour or two later. Liz Winandy, a registered dietitian at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, says caffeine affects people differently. So how much is too much can vary person to person, depending on body weight, medications, and sensitivity. Not drinking ca coffee after uh, noon, around 12 p.m., is a good idea to make sure that it's out of a person's system almost entirely by the time they go to bed. For healthy adults, the FDA recommends no more than 400 milligrams a day. That's about four or five cups of coffee. When Andy says it should be spread out, not consumed in one sitting. And if you think you're taking in too much, cut back gradually. So maybe tapering down over a week is ideal. If someone decides to go cold turkey, it's, it's really, you know, most people are going to have a headache. They'll have some increased drowsiness, but usually that only lasts for a couple of days. Now, to put this into perspective, a 12 ounce can of soda has 30 to 40 milligrams of caffeine, eight ounces of tea has 30 to 50, and eight ounces of coffee, 80 to 100. Now, if you drink energy drinks, well, they can have anywhere from 40 to 250 milligrams, so be careful.